Hello and welcome to Fit and Strong with Mr. Ramon. Today we will be doing a lesson about speed and agility. Um, speed and agility, through agility exercises, helps us to be quick thinkers, helps us with our balancing, with our um, ability to change direction, which is also called footwork, and also helps us to strengthen our muscles with regards also to balancing. The first warm-up game is called Catch Mr. Ramon. Obviously, virtually, you're going to catch me. I will be going from one side to the other, and you have to try and tag me with your hand. Important, be careful not to drop this screen or television where you are watching this lesson. Then, you can take a record on how many times you're going to manage to catch Mr. Ramon in around 30 seconds to one minute. Come on. Hope you managed to catch me. Go, 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 go. To the end, to the end. One thing I forgot to tell you is that between one exercise and another, it's important that you drink. Now, the next exercise is called to the opposite of Mr. what Mr. Ramon does. Meaning, if I go to the front, you go to go back. If I go back, you come to the front. If I go this side, you go that side. If I go this side, you go that side. The last one, if I go down, you jump up. If I jump up, you go down. We'll do this over 30 seconds for the younger ones and the older ones can um, do it for one minute. Ready? So. Our first agility exercise, meaning part one, is called four square. As you can see, I used the strips I had mentioned in the previous video to prepare a cross. I also used strip of um, cardboard to try the numbers to help me. You can do this activity either on your own, against Mr. Ramon, or else you can also challenge a partner at home by doing what you can see here twice or three times according to how many participants you're going to be. The game basically is the leader will perform an exercise on the four square, the others have to try and um, repeat it exactly. Part 2 will focus on exercises using the agility method. For this part, you can work either on your own, where you will imitate me, 
or else you can also have a partner to work the end of the exercises after each other.
after 20 seconds of jogging, shake your body a bit and we'll do a couple of stretches. Your balance also stare at something that doesn't fall. And shake again. We have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank my helper, Miss Laura. Keep on training and keep moving.